You guys see this. It's a hard life. something and get it up I'm going to do the I dare you book tag I wasn't formally dared in this but I figured I may as well do it because it looked interesting it has 10 questions in it and they're all traditional stereotypical dares that we may do in truth or dare number one dare you to jump backwards name a book you went into blindly and it let you down the night circus I think I'm gonna have to say I didn't really know what it was gonna be about I just knew that everybody really seemed to enjoy it and then it was supposed to be magical and mystical and give you all these feelings of just being at a magical circus and that really appealed to me and then I got in and got about two-thirds of the way through the book and I could not finish it because nothing really happens. It's just people talking about plans and then there's supposed to be this huge compelling romance and I just did not, it wasn't for me. Number two, one drink too many. Name a book that gave you a hangover. Illuminate and Gemini both gave me a massive hangover because those books really are an emotional roller coaster. If you've not read them, you should. I don't care if you don't like sci-fi. I don't care if you don't like young adult. This book cured me of a reading slump and then gave me a huge hangover. They're so good and I cannot wait for book three. Number three, spin the bottle. Name a book with a terrible romance or romance scene. Twilight is the cliche easy answer because nothing in that romantic relationship is a healthy relationship. Some of the romance in the Remnant Chronicles really irritated me. Number four, Mooning. Name a book that was too descriptive. I almost want to get this back to the Night Circus because I think that was why I didn't like it. For me, the author focused really, really hard on beautiful writing and descriptive writing and creating beautiful scenes that there was not much plot behind the beautiful writing. Number five, Scream and Run. Name a book that wasn't descriptive enough or left you confused. This is rarely a problem I have. Maybe Geek Charming by Robin Palmer because through the whole book you spend this whole book developing a friendship and a relationship between our princess girl and our geeky guy and then you expect them at the end to get together and then all of a sudden not only are they not together she's exclaiming about how happy she is to be in a relationship with this new guy who's never been mentioned at all before in the whole book and it just sort of threw me for a loop so maybe having planted him at the beginning or a little bit more description of who this person was uh, would have been nice number six staring contest name a book you thought was going to take forever but was over in the blink of an eye i thought illuminate was going to take me a really long time to read because that's a really big book and it's like 600 and it's almost 700 pages and I think I read it in about six hours. Cool. Again, go read that book like right now. Number seven, Car Crash. Name a book that started great but ended badly. I'm gonna have to give that to the Remnant Chronicles again as a whole trilogy, not just the single book. I liked book one, I loved book two, and I could not stand the way book three ended or the majority of book three in general. Number eight, Amnesia. Name a book that was forgettable or you forgot you read. Oh, there are these books that I read in middle school, probably junior high school, and they're about a girl named Fran, I believe, and she was able to read people and objects' memories by touching them, and there was a vampire, and they were purple, and I'm going to find a photo of them online and put them here. There were only two books that I remember, but I always forget about them, but I remember I enjoyed them well enough. They probably actually sucked, but I don't remember. Number nine, Broken Limb. Name a book that shattered you. I think Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, because everybody dies in that book. Oh, I'm still working on Red Rising. I've got about seven hours left in the audiobook, and I have to keep taking breaks because that book just is intense. So that might be an answer for that one. And number 10, who do you tag? I'm gonna tag Lauren of Offbeat Book Digest because I know she also has to film a video. There we go. And then as soon as I finish Red Rising, Lauren and I are going to do some sort of video together for that. It might be a live stream, it might just be a video. We don't know, gotta finish it, then we'll work out those details. If you wanna see those, hit the subscription box down below. And if you want to get a notification every time I upload a video, hit the little bell thingy. If you wanna give me a thumbs up, that would be, that would be great. If you have other books that you think I should read, or if you see a book on the list of books that I've read, which is linked in the box below, that you want me to talk about a little bit more, let me know. If you have any ideas, I'm open to them. Ooh, I feel like 
I was like here, and then 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 I was like here. With all that said, all my social media links will be down below. I have Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Kick, Tumblr, Goodreads, all of that. It'll be down below. You can add me and we'll read all the books and be best friends. Bye, guys. Thank you.